Lily Allen, 37, has admitted in a new interview that she wouldn't be married to her husband and Stranger Things star David Harbour if she wasn't sober. In conversation with Glamour UK magazine, Lily has shared her belief that if she was still drinking alcohol, she may not be alive today. The smile hitmaker said, Pretty much every aspect of my life has changed as a result of my sobriety. I actually don't even know if you'd be alive if I'm honest if I hadn't gotten sober. She also added how being sober changed her life immeasurably, leading to her relationship with David and a better future for her two children. The mom of two continued, I don't think he'd be married to my husband. I don't think that my kids would be thriving in the way that they are. Lily has two children from her previous marriage to ex-husband Sam Cooper, Marnie, 10, and Ethel, 11. The singer-turned-actress also spoke out last month about her sobriety and how her life has changed to Holly Willoughby and Joel Domit on this morning. She said, It is weird. My life has changed so much. Tom Parker died without a written will leaving his wife only £70,000, Insight, Brawless Ashley Roberts suffers wardrobe malfunction in risque outfit, Picks. Sue Radford enjoys best day as she shakes off daughter's claims, latest, M4 years clean and sober, I have a new husband, we're sorting our lives out in America. David has shared an insight into his marriage in the past, during a chat with James Corden on his Late Late Show in 2021. He quipped, she said, when I saw you, I saw the biggest person I had ever seen in my life and also the smallest person I had ever seen in my life. Isn't that interesting? That's what made her fall in love with me, that I was very big and also very small in a certain way. The happy couple tied the knot in 2020 in Las Vegas with Lily confirming the news with a handful of photos from their nuptials. Lily has always been open about her drink and drug abuse, particularly when she released her memoir My Thoughts Exactly in 2020. In 2018, she admitted to mistakenly snorting a line of ketamine at the Glamour Woman of the Year Awards in 2008. She wrote on Instagram at the time, someone gave me a line of what I assumed to be cocaine at the Glamour Awards once, but it turned out to be ketamine. I was thrown out, passed over some railings, of the Glamour Awards for being in a K-hole. Obviously I couldn't talk, or direct the driver so my assistant instructed the occupant of the car behind to follow the cab I believe the occupant was a chatty man I have no idea what happened next.